Ravens versus the Patriots. But I can guarantee you, Nick Folk ain't going to save him on this one. So y'all know, Sunday night game. Ravens versus the Patriots. Straight off the bat. Okay. One thing I am going to be watching very closely is that run defense. Kales Campbell is out. The Patriots have Burkhead. Burkhead, for their running backs, is leading their running backs in touchdowns. And he did a pretty decent job Monday, last Monday. So, it's going to be interesting for us that Cam Newton, we have the Ravens, we have seen Cam Newton so many times. He's got us a couple of times, we got him a couple of times. And he also have eight rushing TDs this year already. And that is a lot for a quarterback. But also with that eight rushing TDs, he also has something that's close to eight, and that's seven interceptions. And we know the Jets literally pretty much beat them. Flacco was turning them up with a lot of deep passes. So this could be the game we see Lamar do more deep passes if he has that time in the pocket. And I also believe we might see a more Dez this time around. But you know Harbs, Harbs ain't giving much of anything out. And also, while speaking about the Patriots, their defense got eight up. Their DBs is not as good, obviously, as the Ravens. So, like I stated, that I believe Lamar is going to get his thing. Hollywood is going to turn him up. Now, the question is the run game. I believe Ingram is still out. I know we're going to chop him up for a lot of yards. It's starting to get that play action. Greg Roman really finally opened the door for Lamar in the second half. Hopefully this game he does not take as long with it being prime time. Things such as that. And I even forgot Julian Edelman is still out there with the uh, Patriots. That is funny to me. Now, time to, because I, I really don't have much to speak about the Patriots. They they are not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not the Patriots of old. They're three and five. Um, and I don't believe that's just because Tom Brady is gone. I believe it's because their defense they have so many people missing on their defense because of the COVID that they, they did not want to participate in this year a lot of captains a lot of just a lot of things even um Gilmore he's playing but he's having a bad year so let's get to it so now for as the Ravens and the the Patriots. Why is it going to? There we go. All right, Ravens and the Patriots. We already know Ravens, the number one rushing. Nobody can stop us rushing the ball. Even though we lost against Pittsburgh, they still gave up a lot. Now, the Colts, first half, they were stopping us rushing that ball, but second half, we, they open, Like I said, Greg Roman opened that door and Lamar had his day. The Patriots are bad at passing. They're 29th, we're 32nd. But I really could care less about that for us right now. That can change very quickly. Um, hopefully we have Marlon Humphrey back on this game. Even though MP Juice Man, he held his own. He did his thing. Representing Marlon Humphrey. Got a forced fumble and an interception. So he was representing for his, his his dog. So I believe 
JK is continually getting more and more snaps. Deb Duvernay is getting a lot of snaps as well. Now, with the Patriots giving up a lot of deep passes, I believe I will see Deb Duvernay and Hollywood go for some bombs. It's pretty much overdue. But it's it's no really it's no rush, you know. Um for us Raven fans, we know Lamar can pass, but he has his ups and downs. And like I stated, hopefully that Pittsburgh game, well, that was the last of the bad passing. Um, the Colts game, first half, he was he was like tied down. Then Greg Roman released him, let him do his thing fast pace. We know we can't stay up tempo. That is completely impossible to stay up tempo the entire game. That would throw a lot of things off. But the promise side of that, we've seen um, Hollywood do a slant route in the middle. We haven't seen that a lot this year. That was great to see. And he was, he was getting them yards. And he surprisingly took a hit. I thought he was just going to dive down because we know how Hollywood does. He would dive down. But he surprisingly, he took that hit, got up, and just shook it off like, let's keep going, baby. I'm gonna go ahead then. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we can see the, the Mr. X, he's only in there for two snaps. I only seen him for one, but they 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 said he's in there for two snaps. Hopefully prime time. He can show off. He can do his things hard. Open that door, Greg Roman, open that door. Cause I see him on the sideline, you know, pumping pumping people up. Um and him and James Prochet is like I've I seen them like this a lot throughout the game. And James is just soaking it in, which it should be Boykin soaking in that knowledge, but obviously. And I know the head coaches and everybody that is a coach in upper management, they have to be taking note of that. Because if you're not learning from a pro bowler vet like Des Bryant, and I'm speaking about Boykin, this is what I just saw from the sideline. It could be different in practice, but still, that says a lot. So, I have us winning this game. We haven't been hitting that 30 like I've been predicting. So, I have us winning this game 28. Patriots, I have them going 10. I believe the we're, our defense is going to shut them down. Unfortunately, Calais Campbell... He's going to be out for some weeks. Um, hopefully, we can get him back. Playoff. Playoff. We can get him back, hopefully. Because when I seen him go down, I was like, oh, God. But run game is going to be questionable. But Matabuke, he, I seen some promise in him. He was doing really good. And now we're going to see a lot of him. So, hopefully, he can stay healthy because we know he was under Calais Campbell's wing um, all throughout offseason and regular season. We we seen it. Calais Campbell kept speaking highly of him. So y'all tell me what you think, buddy. Y'all score. Everybody stay safe. God bless. See you next time. 